So I'm sure that you've seen people spinning in such a way that it appears that their poi are meant to overlap, and yet they don't run into each other. How could that be? Well, today we're going to learn exactly how we can place our planes in such a way that our hands can be close together and the poi don't tangle. This is what I like to call the lanes of poi. Drex here from DrexFactor.com, bringing you poi spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain while we're all dealing with the COVID-19 outbreak. And uh, today, we are going to learn how to treat our poi as though they're a two-lane highway. And yes, that is actually a thing. Before we dive in, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Toys, Pyroterra Light Toys, LMF Props, Spinballs, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these awesome companies and the work that they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. So this is gonna be another one of those videos where I give you something that doesn't have a sexy name. It isn't something that's likely gonna pop up on a YouTube or Google search or what have you, but it's a really, really, really important idea. And it's fundamental to a lot of things that you probably have already found, as well as are going to find in the coming weeks as I'm teaching you more poise stuff. And probably the most maddening part of this is that it's not like there's one trick that you pull out of this that like looks super cool and be like, hey, this is the thing that I learned that got me this particular skill. It's just a thing that you drill in order to get other things that look cool. I'm referring, of course, to what happens when, say, you're performing it together opposites flower and you have to work in this space where the poi are in opposites straight in front of you with your arms crossed, or say in those moments when the poi are in split time, same direction in front of you and everything, say either with your arms crossed or not, and you're in that place where they would be running into each other normally. but. We don't want them to, so how do we avoid that? And the answer is we kind of have to shift our understanding of what wall plane is and realize that wall plane is not just like this single plane, this single monolithic just like sheet that's in front of us, but instead something that has layers to it. Um, the reason that I call this concept the lanes of poi is because I've come to think of wall plane as being less like a just solid wall in front of you and more like a multi-lane highway that goes both in front of you as well as behind you and sometimes actually through you too now that I think about it. All right, so let's go ahead and try out an experiment like this right quick. And it's gonna start with the poi spinning in together same in wall plane in front of us. Now, this is one of those examples where it seems like wall plane is kind of that monolithic and visible wall in front of me and everything, you know. The poi are basically spinning along the same surface and everything, but I'm gonna change the game plan just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and push my left hand forward and pull my right hand back. And at first it doesn't look that different but I now have the option to basically have the two poi uh, occupying the same space. That is, one of the poi is kind of hiding behind the other one. Uh, I can do this with my left hand forward. I can also do it with my right hand forward, yeah? Now, why on earth would we want to do such a thing, especially in Together Same, where it's really, really easy to keep the poi from running into each other? Well, there are some other spaces where it's helpful to have those poi running in parallel tracks. Like, say, if instead of having our arms open, we have our arms crossed, yeah? This is actually the same idea. I am still keeping my left hand farther away from me and my right hand closer. And I'm just making sure that each poi has its own lane of traffic to spin in. This turns out to be really useful. So I want you to try spinning the poi in each of these different positions for 10 beats. That is, I want you to start off with them in together same, and you're gonna do 10 beats with the left hand in front, switching into parallel lanes here. And then you're gonna give me 10 beats with your right hand in front. And then you're gonna give me 10 beats with your arms crossed and your right hand on top. And then you're gonna give me 10 beats with your arms crossed and your left hand on top. Each time the key is going to be getting those poi to sit in parallel lanes like they are in cars on a highway, yeah?
And now we're going to do this in the other timing and direction combinations, because of course we are. We're going to start off in together opposite, which uh, you might remember our butterfly from several weeks ago. And interestingly enough, do you remember me giving you a note about how you would have to tilt the planes just a little bit to keep the poi from running into each other top and bottom? Huh. Looks a little bit like they're in separate lanes here, too. Gosh, I wonder if that's a coincidence. It's not. Now, we're going to switch out of this to having our right hand behind and our left hand in front so we can keep that together opposite feel going and uh, not have to tilt our planes in order to do it. Then we're going to go ahead and put the right hand in front. And then we're going to try this with our arms crossed, right hand on top, and our arms crossed, left hand on top. Each time, it is our job to find a way to create those parallel lanes in such a way that we can keep the two poi from running into each other, yeah? Next up, another very useful timing and direction to be able to get this down with. Split time, same direction. Unlike all the other timing and direction combinations, there is literally no way to keep split time, same direction working in wall plane without being able to keep the poi in separate lanes. Give it a try, you'll always tangle. So we want to go ahead and start off with the left hand in front, and then the right hand in front, the right hand on top, the left hand on top. Again. Each particular way, you want to make sure that you're giving each poi its own particular lane to work in. Yeah, uh, You can think of them as being cars, passing each other in different lanes and everything, and it's just different orientations by which they do that. And finally, there's split time opposites, which I will admit is probably the least interesting one to do this with, but just for the sake of completion, we're still going to do it. You can go ahead and start off with left hand in front or right hand in front, and then put right hand on top, crossing your arms, and left hand on top, crossing your arms, yeah? It's probably going to feel pretty close to both together opposite as well as split time same direction, and that's to be expected. So if you're having a difficult time keeping your plane stable when your arms are crossed, which, you know, we are learning a completely new skill here, so that, that is totally understandable, uh, here's a little drill that may help you get it down. Uh, go ahead and cross your arms, and whichever hand is on top, get its poise spinning, and just practice trying to keep that going without hitting your arm, right? Just keep it going for 10 solid beats, and then make it stop. With the other hand, I want you to go ahead and spin it, believe it or not, in wheel plane. Yes, it's true. Why would I have you do this? Well, because your next move is to try and get both of the poi spinning at the same time. See if you can get one of them spinning in wheel plane while the other one spins in wall plane. There's physically no way that they can hit each other in this orientation. Now the hand that's in wall plane, or excuse me, wheel plane, I'm going to do that many more times, I swear. You want to start tilting it back around into wall plane here. See how far you dare go. Sometimes it helps to do this in front of a video camera or a mirror and to look at the results because it'll look right before you think it does. Like you're going to think that you need it to be all the way back here and honestly, right here works just as well. If you look at this from the side, I'm actually tilting out my plane quite a bit on my left hand in order to make this work. I don't have to do this. I can keep them both much more parallel and everything. I just have to reach my left hand out further away from me. But this is a good way that you can kind of gingerly get into those places with both together opposite as well as split time same direction with your arms crossed and not have yourself go cross-eyed in the process, right? Cool. 
So, in each and every timing and direction combination, you want 10 beats with the left in front, 10 beats with the right in front, 10 beats with your arms crossed and the left on top, 10 beats with your right hand on top and your arms crossed, yeah? Again, I know there's no sexy move that comes out of this, but it will be super duper helpful for not only playing around with some of the tricks that we've already got under our belts, but a lot of stuff that's coming up in the coming weeks, yeah? Cool. Thank you all for being patient with me on this one. Pretty please do me a favor and like, share, and subscribe. Make sure that these videos get far and wide so that we have more Flomies to play with when the quarantine is over. And of course, if you wanna skip on ahead, you can always sign up for my Spin Poi Like a Rockstar course. It's totally free. You head on over to my website at drexfactor.com and you give me your email address. The lessons get delivered into your inbox along with a link that will take you to a complete list of all of them that you can go through at your own pace. So. Uh, uh, go ahead and check that out. And of course, if you are enjoying these lessons and you think they're important and you want to see them keep on coming, consider signing up to support this work over on Patreon, like all of these nice folks did. Um, Patreon is a wonderful, wonderful tool for online content creators like me, and it has been an incredible amount of help for me in navigating this outbreak. So many of my friends have seen so much of their income disappear in the past few months as events get canceled and restaurants and bars close and everything. Uh, but Patreon is what allows me to keep on paying the bills and thus being able to deliver a new tutorial every weekday for all of you out there. So if you have the means to help me out and I totally understand if you don't, but if you do, head on over to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and sign up. You get early access to all of my content as well as a vote in topics that I tackle in the future. Uh, so yeah, you should go and check that out, please and thank you. All right, so you know the drill. Tomorrow's Friday, so I'm gonna be back with a brand new Poi combo for all of you to help you get down not only some of the stuff that we played around with this week, but also uh, how to integrate it with stuff we've learned in past weeks, yeah? So I'll see you tomorrow with that, and uh, have yourselves a good one. Peace.